This is Orange Football Special. Today, Waka, just begin for me to better tomorrow. For as long as we keep for work on WeSef, we go most bring out we best. We own best in how we can come near the people and think them we matter to we. We they look for experience where they connect we any side and they give we sense altered. reliable network na salon today don't put plenty money for network coverage data service and plenty other thing there we don't come near near you now so you and you fumble them go enjoy the best telecom service at the highest standard and beside you then a salon orange to Orange. The network will get the widest coverage as a loan. They say Kusha so you fumble them within a place them leg. Bo, Potloko, Lunge, Makeni, Kono, Kenima, Masiaka, Watalo, Baumahu, Gyeu, Kombu, Kamalo, Kimbedu Section, Komogabai, Levuma, Magbente, Mondema, Mongei, Moyuajong, Telubongo, Alkalia, Dembala, Bentu, Beyea, Kangama, Sama Bendugu, Yondu, and all the community them within near. With the plenty money where we don't put. But the network coverage expansion and we Really don't improve them, don't show say we can do for you on a world class telecom experience. Orange, the number one network is a long way campaign coverage. Orange. Me na furi, and na lokoma samaya a day, and me na farmer. Strade, before they call person, pass or go claim up their hill them for get network. But now, and then they don't have me room. Then they call me and I then myself they call person. So we bloody very, 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 very much. Stay connected with your family them all over the country with orange. Any term, any side, and no go get one problem. Orange, the most reliable network in a salon, go connect you all over the country. And for two, we get the largest coverage where they cover over 300 sites. Salon now we home. And the people them now we family that that make we get it for you on a first class mobile service experience. Orange. Hello, Kushe, and welcome to Oran Football Special, a program where they discuss, dissect, and digest what in salon they talk about when it comes to everything football. And of course, now Orange Salon, the lead telecom service provider in the country with the widest coverage, they support this event here, this program, Oran Football Special, for ensure that it reaches you through the channel where you view on Mondays, respectively, as you view so now this 7 p.m. And of course, on Wednesdays, we repeat broadcast, they come to you as exactly 4 p.m. And remember, it's every other Monday and Wednesday, this program here, they come to you. Keep watching. Mina Aisha, now what I love about I get me cook this shop. Tigade, when my SIM card can get problem, or when I want to reconfigure my phone, pass I get for travel go all the way in a tongue. But now, I no need for go in a tongue for go fix my phone in problem again. And that make I really, really glad. <laughs> Orange customer care. Now you new neighbor. Come to we. Now you know the reason why we come here. Or you can also contact with customer call center. We get it 24 7 for serve you anytime you need them. Salon now we home. And the people them now we fumble. That that make we get it for you on a first class mobile service experience. Orange. Welcome back to the show. Of course, if you just oh, join, remember seeing an Oran football special you watch. And today we're not using normal studio as today here at the Football Academy for do this particular production. Yeah, so, so that you're able to get the latest what happen in football because this is what we promise that it is an opportunity for you for always witness what's going happen in football, both locally and internationally. And today, forget the local flavor within the Football Academy. And of course, the background, you see the movements of the players, you know, for ensure that we bring this particular segment to you. And don't forget the Orange Cola, the platform where Orange young you for ensure that you talk 
talk endlessly because talking to loved ones is never complete so that you will always get the opportunity for talk to your loved ones of course during doing using that as well sorry you be able to use them for doing your business transaction whether you're in a student or whatever you you need in a study group you can call a, a colleague and of course we're not going to solve a lot of math problems from for a series you know to whatever you for ensure that i mean you don't top up your game because this is what orange is all about when it comes to orange it's all about what matters to you like we promised today we also don't talk to the to the head coach of the Sierra Leone national team when i john kista and at this if you get for say during this interview Mr. Kista, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, so, viewers for sure go on for no like, you know, waiting at the mood, you know, at the camp, you know, yes, the players, most are not resident here, but you must have been in conversation with them here and there going to this particular encounter. And of course, the subsequent matches are what they follow in succession. Um, very, very hoppy. But you know, in the last two or three, two days, you know, there's been a lot of ins and outs okay. you know just very very soon you didn't an hour and i've just had another one again you know which is a big one for us but you know it's like i said this is football you know there's ins and out ins and outs and we've just got to try and manage that you know um i've just had another big one that's going to miss the match okay um I'll, I'll bring that in the next couple of hours or the next three four hours which is very very difficult sure. but again you know as i've always said football is about squads um, when somebody is out, it's an opportunity for somebody else to, to come, come in and in do well. Sure. You know, so can do. this is what it is about. Hopefully, the person that we'll bring in or we will come in, at least we'll have an opportunity, you know, to try and make a mark so he stays in there. Yeah. And, and that's the competitive edge we're, we're trying to bring into the senior national team. And hopefully, you know, people can understand that. And that will, that will, that will stay and that will, that will give us a chance and an opportunity, you know, in regards to going forward. Beautiful. That will give us an opportunity with regards going forward. We know exactly this night team mode on a fantastic run as far as you know results are concerned. You know, if we go back, you know, to the last AFCOM qualifiers, so side we play against Sudan, you know, if we get a 1-0 win, Naya Gabon, we got a win and of course we went away to Ivory Coast, a one or draw. We all know that uh, we are robbed, you know, of a place in the AFCOM, you know, and then eventually we first match in this edition. You know, against Kenya, we we'll get a two-one win at home. So generally, it's looking good results-wise. And of course, knowing that this team is slowly changing seamlessly in relation to the new phases coming in, I mean, how you don't manage this particular situation up to this particular point going to this match? I think what has been what has been very very good for myself is is the is the is the is that I've been around for a little bit. Sure. You know, I've been around these players, I've been around this environment for a little while. Um, I've seen the gradual, gradual progression in regards to players, in regards to results. Even though I still think there's a lot of work to be done, you know, we're, we're going slowly and slowly. Don't forget, we're going about results. We're trying to change a mentality. We're trying to get through a transition of players. And we're trying to work around two difficult situations to try and progress. Um, I think in regards to the results, we're getting better, but we've got more to, to do. do. We're sure. probably Certainly. about 30% out of 100%. That's Certainly. my opinion. And in regards to trans transition of players as well, I think we're 30% just going gradually. Hopefully, you know, with the results that we need or we want and the, the players are coming in, hopefully we can start breaking those barriers into where we're trying to head to. Um, what I'm happy about is the fact that we're getting into the good habits. As a country, we're getting into good habits of trying to get something out of matches, okay. which is something I've always said when I came into Australia and I'm working. With whatever category or whatever level I've worked in, I've always said to players, we want to go into games and get something out of a game, okay. whether it be a draw, whether it be a win, but we need to get something. And that's just really trying to get them to get into good habits. You know, of not just going into game for the sake of it and not getting results. Because you know as much as I do when it goes to that in sports, you get into a habit where you start losing, losing, and it becomes a habit. Exactly. So, so it's the same as winning. So more so that you don't know how to go around uh, it again. Uh, Absolutely. And the, the, the moment you start trying to say, okay, I need to start, and a lot of issues starts to, to happen. So it's slowly, slowly, and I think in regards to those, those processes, it's time. With time, you can, you can get, get it right. But if you start to rush it, then you're going to get it wrong. 
because don't forget, in regards to trying to get results in transition, there's a lot of things that surround that that you've got to look as well. So we're looking at that. We hope people can understand what we're trying to do. I hope people out there can, can really look at the positive way we're trying to work. And hopefully, eventually, we'll get to where we're trying to get to in the, in the, in the not distant future. Yeah, talking of new faces, you know, we talk of the likes of Buya, you know, Bakayoko, Ali, Yemi, Dunia. These are all new faces that are around the team. Of course, Victor Mansari of recent time, you know, they've been in and out of the team. You know, this is very much exciting. But of course, you cannot forget the old guards. You know, you talk of we, we captain, ever brilliant captain, fantastic Zengele. We know for sure that quite recently he came up from injury. So, um, in terms of him coming back to the team, I mean, how pleased are you as a, as a coach? going into this particular Yeah, match. I mean, it's, it's sad, you know, because unfortunately probably is one I'm going to have to miss wow. at this match. You know, I've just, had a, I've just had a conversation with him and it's difficult, you know, because again, you know, but well, when it comes to transition, we have a group of players that have been representing Sierra Leone in the last 10 years, which is like you said, the guards. Yes. The Kai, the Meadows, the mm. Zagalos, the Symbols, the Zengeles. And what is very, very difficult, you cannot just make transition straight away and just say everybody oh, goes out, everybody oh, comes in. You oh, can't certainly. do that. Oh, you know, there's so much that these boys can offer at this moment in time in regards to the young players. And I think the younger players need to learn from the older players going forward. I think what we didn't have at our time was when we played for the Serie or the national team, we didn't have a transition period where these boys came through. That are playing now okay. in regards to us living. Exactly, exactly, okay? exactly. They it came was, in as a group we yes, all, we on all their left, own. Exactly. And we had all left at the same at the period of time where we all said, okay, enough is enough for us. We left. And these boys just came in as a group. So during that process in the 10 years, that's why there was little, little difficulties, you know, A and B not right, business not right. Because they hadn't gone through a proper, proper transition in regards to their own development. Hopefully, what I'm trying to do again for the future, whether I'm here or I'm not here. It's the new players that are coming through, the transitional players that are coming through, would have gone through a really good, good development projects, which will be very, very important for them in their development going forward for Australian football. So in regards to the older players, the Zingeles, the Jibila, we're going to manage them. We'll manage them slowly, slowly at a time. When we feel that we have the, the manpower, we have the squad that's ready. Because don't forget, football is about levels. Sure. I can tell you that, it's about levels. Certainly. So what it is, it's like these boys are going out now. In terms of going out, they can go out and develop in the next couple of years. They will come back and be very, very good players with good experience representing Australia. By that time, we'll have the old players saying, OK, enough is enough. And we bring the transition through. But we're going to still manage these old players. I think there's a lot more these boys can learn from them in regards to characters, application, you know, the professionalism, which they haven't had. Hopefully, they're learning. But these are the things where we have to look at. And, and it's, it's, it's difficult because, you know, there's, there's a group say, oh, no, get them out. There's a group say, all oh, the young players are coming in. But what is in, the in between, you know, in regards to, <laughs> exactly. to where we want to get to? So these are things you've got to be very mindful of. And I'm very, very mindful of that. Being an ex pro and coming in as a head coach, I, I, I know what it is. So I'm, I'm managing that. Yeah. Being an ex-pro, not necessarily me, <laughs> but John Kista, the head coach, saying that okay, you don't come here exactly and see for see what he able to do for the national side. And of course, this is an exciting moment for Sierra Leoneans, knowing that we'll have an open chance of going to the next AFCOM in Cameroon. Quite recently, we saw Cameroon display, I mean, the stadium with the respective national teams and get for play in the 2019 AFCOM. Remember, the chances don't be increased owing to the fact that from 16 teams, it don't now be increased to 24. We don't make Salon, don't get an even open chance for qualify to this particular event after almost two decades away from that particular event since we qualify in 1996. You are a coach, I mean, whose team, whether at club level or national level, at different levels, like you talk of a level just now, your teams always don't give away much. You understand and you are having a team as far as the buoyant aspect is concerned is the attacking wing we have very exciting attackers coming across you know banging in the goals you know but so when you want for talking about balance and approach going to this match what's exactly the play in your mind without giving anything away in terms of tactics because for sure you know Ethiopia will get an opportunity for this video before the match um I, I think you know when it comes to I think we, we as coaches you know we, we've done our own development and in terms of development, you've just got to be very, very thorough about how you work. And I've always been brought up to be very, very thorough, thorough. in regards to how you work in football. Yes, as a coach, you've got to be very mindful. 
you know, there's the attacking side, there's the defensive side as well, which all, they, they, they work in tandem as well. Um, 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 but, well. but one thing you've got to be very careful is your dynamics, your team dynamics in regards to your organization, your team organization, in regards to when you don't have the ball, is very, very important yeah. in regards to going forward. Yeah. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. The attacking aspect of it, that will come with flair players, with good players, very technical, you know, players that can quick players. Yeah, maneuver their way yes, around. Yes, that will happen. But in regards to being very, very strong mentally in terms of your defensive organization, it's something I thrive on. It's something I'm very, very strong about. And I think for me, in working with the teams I've worked with, they always say, say to you, my teams don't give a lot away in terms of conceding goals. Sure. That's something I work Certainly. on. Certainly. I spend time and time and time. I get defenders to understand what it is about defending. I get them to understand their roles and responsibilities. I get them to understand defending is about keeping clean sheets. Defending is about getting the ball forward. Clear your lines. Do the basics, you understand? Concentration is very, very important when it comes to the whole of the team organization. And these are things I work around. And that brings me to when you talk about my the tactics, you know, the, 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 the dynamics of the team, your combinations, these are all things I work, I look around. You know, in terms of going forward, yes, I've got the players that can go forward. Do I have the players that can come back again? Exactly. Yes. So these are all things I look at. Who can go forward? When we lose the ball in one area, who can come back and defend? Who can do this job? Who can do that job? Who is tactically aware of when A is going that way, where do I put myself into a situation exactly. in regards to the ball? Yeah. These are all things that we look at as coaches and we try and work it and put them into a a team that will function in a very, very proper way. So this is how it, how it works. I don't just look and say, hey, because player A can run, what about when we lose the ball? Yeah, well, can can he come back and do it? Yes. Yeah. Can he come and do the other side? Yes, he can do it. So it's about the players that are mentally, mentally strong in regards to the defensive uh, work roles and their attacking that's, that's roles. So that's how we bring the balance in. So hopefully I'm going to look at that. We'll look at what is viable. We'll look at what is strong. We'll look at what is wrong. Don't forget. We're going away, and in terms of um, 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 away matches, you've got to be very, very strong. You know, you've got to be very organised. And for me, that's the organisation I thrive on. And, and hopefully, some people say more so when you play in Africa. Uh, of course, African <laughs> football is about that. And so that's what we, we're going to work on. You know, we've got four or five days in Ethiopia. We'll work on that. We'll look on our defensive organisation. We know a little bit more about the Ethiopians. Okay. Again, we'll walk around what we think is viable in relation to the ball. Okay. So hopefully, you know, we can get players that are very, very strong mentally that are ready to go into this battle. It's a war. Football is a war and we've got to win the battles. If we win the battles, we win the war. So I always say, listen, it's about one-on-ones, it's the duels, it's, it's, it's the team things and it's, the, it's this. Whoever is stronger up here is going to win the battles and hopefully I've got the players that are strong enough to do that. So let's talk about, you know, uh, how do I call it in terms of travelling arrangements, you know. It's deliberate, I've not asked you anything administrative because you know, it has nothing to do with you in rare circumstance and I expect it to be that way, yeah. So when we talk about travelling with the team, for sure you must have a knowledge as to when you guys will assemble, when will the last player come in, when is the technical team travelling from Sierra Leone here to Ivory Coast, sorry, to Ethiopia. So let's talk about that and keeping it in mind that A, the match itself will not be played you know in the Addis Ababa. I, I think what we what we've what we've come to agree on is the fact that we're going away into a very high humidity sure. uh, uh, environment. Mm -hmm. So we've made it clear we want everyone to be in around the fifth. Okay. The fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth we have a match. We've got a good four or five days training the sessions there where we can where we can we can bring in six or seven training sessions. So everybody comes in on the fifth. We'll all be there on the fifth everybody comes in. We're not going to let people come in beyond that because I don't think it's viable. Yeah. We want to be in there. Yeah. We want to acclimatize, you know, to the conditions in there. And hopefully we're all there. You know, we're going in as well from here, and then we we'll all meet up there, and then we can we'll, we'll crack on. You know, we'll, we'll we'll start, you know, looking forward to to what we're there for. You know, hopefully we can get working because you know, for me, about it's about work. Football. A lot of people look at it from a different perspective. perspective. I don't. For me, football is work. Football is my life. Football is my bread and butter. I don't, I don't joke about it. That's where, that's where I've made my living, and that's where I make my living. So it's about bringing that mentality into, into an environment where people say footballers now nah, drop out. Well, no, we're not. They're not. Sure, it's, you know? it's a complete professional sector. Of course, sector. it's a profession, and, and, and for me, I, I, I take it very, very seriously, and I don't, I don't joke about it at all. And hopefully, the players that we're bringing in that are becoming professionals now are, are very professional as well.
Let's talk about managing the expectation of Sierra Leoneans. You know, like I mentioned, when they go back to the run we've had from the Sudan match I mentioned earlier, of course, the Gabon, you know, and eventually, you know, uh, Ivory Coast and uh, Kenya. These, these teams are no pushovers when it comes to African football. But yes, like you mentioned earlier, we'll be able to stand the test of time, we'll be able to squeeze results out of those matches where need be, you know. So, meaning the expectation of Sierra Leoneans are really high up there. So what do you want to say to them, you know, going to this particular match from the particular point of view? Um, it's, uh, it's normal, you know, but, well, you know, Sierra Leone, whether rightly so or wrongly so, is going through a massive, massive transition in the, next, in the last 20 years. That's a fact. There's a massive transition in everything, okay? And football is no different. Um, we know what the passion, the passion for Sierra Leoneans for football is. We know that. Expectations are very, very high. Especially, you know, with the fact that you have like the Kivats. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. People we'll say to you, around, yes, when they go beat and five and what have you, exactly. you know, look the Guinea, when they go beat and this, this, when they go beat. It's not like that anymore. Things have changed. You know, and, and nations have changed. International football is very, very difficult. And I think we need to start to, to manage those expectations in regards to what we have. Okay? We start to our expectations and start to, we start to go 100 percent expectation. It's not it's not viable. I think we start we have to be reasonable and start working from that. We have to start back from here to go forward. Yes, we want to do well. But we need to start working together to get to that level where we feel yes, we're ready. So yes, the expectations are very, very high. But again, we as um, the people that are in charge of it have got to try and manage that with what we have. Again, the players have got to be very, very professional. They've got to be strong because the expectation is rightly so. We're trying to get to another level as a country in regards to whatever you're looking at. So football is no different. And again, but well, football is a massive, massive tool it is. that can bring a nation together. Sure. Football is a massive, massive tool that can take a nation to another level. And I think that's where we're all looking. And that's where everybody will support. Everybody will fall the back of to see us get to another level. Hopefully, you know, this is a campaign we're going to try as a nation where expectations are high, but we're going to try and manage and we're going to try and live up to that expectations. Again, performances are going to be have to come up. That's a fact. You know, whether we get results or not, but performances are going to be high. If, again, like going back to the Ivory Coast, where we didn't get the result, but performance level were good, they can accept that. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, that's why I've always said to these players, I am going to ask you guys to go and run. I'm going to ask you to go on down. Even if you're not doing it right, you're not getting around the pitch. But that doesn't stop you from running. Sure. It doesn't stop you from working hard. As long as people see on the outside that you're working hard for the country, they can appreciate that, regardless of whether you get a result or not. That's what we can ask. We go out there, we'll give 110%, we'll work as hard as we have done. And hopefully but that will be good enough for the people of Sierra Leone. Okay, as we close in this particular interview, we are talking of expectation. Of course, um, Sierra Leone also want to know exactly what is the realistic target you are looking at going to this particular match and the subsequent matches coming in terms of one step after the other. Yes, um, absolutely. I, I want to take a game, we want to take a game at a time, which I think is important. But you know, whatever you go into, but what you have to have targets. Sure. Um, that's how I was brought up. If we, if we get two points a game, two points a game, two points a game, and two points a game. What does that give us in terms of points out of? It, it, it puts you sitting on a very sound footing. Exactly. So in regards to points, we're looking at maximum 10 points for two qualifiers. Yeah. Okay. In regards to how we work the mathematics out, if it works out, you know, we have Kenya and Ghana in our group and we have ourselves in Ethiopia. Um, Okay, we, we, we're looking at, in terms of wins, we're looking at, it's difficult, you know, African football. Sure. But again, we want to go to Ethiopia and get something out of it. I think for us that would be a benchmark as well. We've got, if we, if we get all our points at home, and we go away from home with three games, mm -hmm. and we get, we get one point. From, yes, you have 10 points. We get 10 away. points. That's good enough for us, I think. Or if we can get 12 points, 11 points. I think between 10 and 11 points, we what should be home it? and dry. And that's what we're going to look for. Regardless, if we get more than that, then we're happy with that. But we're going to target that in regards to we get all our points at home, nine points, and we're going to look for three, two points on the outside. Yeah. Hopefully, don't forget the other teams, have got, other countries have got to get points out of each other. And hopefully it works for us in terms of statistics and, and results.
Fingers crossed. Yeah. You know, by God's grace, it works yeah, out. So, in your final statement, so you call this your parting shot, you know, like you mentioned, you've been around the game for a very long period of time. You've played the game, you are now an ex, you are a coach, you've managed club sides, you've managed the national sides, you know, from the age group, of course, to the senior national team. You've worked several years as assistant coach. If you were to have an opportunity to, to change anything around the game as it is now, as far as managing the national team is concerned, what would that be? You know, it's um, it's very, very unfair, Bawo. I can sit here and say that. Um, it's like you saying, look at the situation when it comes to England national team mm -hmm. and look at the situation when it comes to Australian national, national team. team. Straight away, the environment it's doesn't... It's quite different. Com it's you can call it a mismatch. Of course. <laughs> do you understand what I mean? I do. So I think it's very, very unfair of me for say, I want this to change, I want this to change, I want this to change. The environment doesn't allow us to make those decisions because from day to day in this environment, things will change. And when things change, it will alter whatever you think to say, it will make it better for us as a national team. Okay. So that's why I'm always very, very cautious in regards to, yes, you know, I've come from a background where I feel everything is done properly, okay? Again, they're doing the best, everyone is doing their best, but it's, it's very, it's, it's not it's not it's not viable to say I, I want everything to be done right I want us to be getting things right I want A to be right B to be right C to be right is it viable in this environment that's the question, that's the question. I ask. We, we all will look forward to an answer hopefully we'll get that one day and hopefully it will not be long before we start saying yes you know it is what it is or we start getting things right but as of now we'll keep managing yeah. we'll keep working around what we have as a country as a nation and we'll keep fighting hopefully by God's grace, things will work out for us as a country in a not too distant future. Yeah. Thank you very much. And Orange Thanks Football Special is always pleased to Thank have you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank God you bless. Very much. And Thank wish you all the best. Thank as you very going much. To do Thanks. Match and Thanks. the subsequent matches. Yeah, it's for us all. You know, we're Team Sierra Leone. Sure. We're all we in are. it together. We are. You know, the, 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 more we put in, the more we put together as a country, the more belief, the more support we all get together, supporting each other, you know, God will give us our rewards. Hopefully, this is the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Today Waka just begin for me to better tomorrow. For as long as we keep for work on WeSef, we go most bring out we best. We own best in how we can come near the people and thing them we matter to we. We they look for experience where they connect we any side and they give we sense all them. Reliable network na salon today. Don't put plenty money for network coverage, data service, and plenty other thing there. We don't come near near you now. So you and you fumble them go enjoy the best telecom service at the highest standard. And we say you then a salon. Orange. Mina Hassan, I old 21 year at the Jalai University, more on the campus. Before now, I don't get problem for cash money a lot. Anytime I go for cash money, either they say the line slow or line all day. And that really discouraged me a lot because the fees that took me from that they send out, well, I will pay. And at one time, I go for go sit exam, trust me, then pull me come in the exam hall because of I don't pay me fees. But now, trust me, anytime I go for cash or line money, the network is very fast. So now, problem day for slow, this, that, everything, a line all day, this, that, all don't pass. All my history now to we. I really, really glad. It. I really, really proud of Orange for this move we take. Orange Money, they offer you simple, fast, and reliable solution for send you money, receive money, pay you bills, and more. Locate Orange Money agent or service center where they near you, or all sign at the country. Salon now we home, and the people them now we fumble. That that make we get it for you on a first class mobile service experience. Orange. 
Of course, we've had it all, you know, from the head coach of the Sierra Leone national football team. We'll say I don't expand, you know, on how the team selection, of course, preparation, and of course, targets and expectation where Sierra Leone has ever managed going to this particular fixture and subsequent fixtures um, where the Salon national team will play for and show that we qualify for AFCOM 2019 all the way in Cameroon. And it don't take over two decades since we last qualified for such an event. So for sure, it is but only proper that the Sierra Leone national team qualify for the 2019 AFCOM championship na Cameroon. And of course, now all this will go take now this particular segment of the show. We'll go for a quick break and we'll come back. We'll tell you exactly what will happen at the UEFA Champions League draw, you know, as we don't see interesting draws, one particularly with future, you know, the group involving, you know, the old ladies, you know, when are the Turin Giant Juventus and of course Manchester United, they coming together of Ronaldo again, you know, with Manchester United. Moreno being involved as well as one pinnacle of that particular fixture. Keep watching. To Orange, the network will get the widest coverage of Salon. They say Kusha to you fumble them within a place them like Bo, Botloko, Luge, Makeni, Kono, Kenima, Masiaka, Watalo, Baumahu, Gieu, Kombu, Kamalo, Kimbedu section, Komurabai, Levuma, Magbente, Mongema, Mongei, Moyua John, Telubongo, Alkalia, Dembala, Bentu, Beria, Kangama, Sama Bendugu, Yondu, and all the community them where they near with the plenty money where we don't put. But the network coverage expansion and we we really don't improve, I'm don't show say we ready for giving a world class telecom experience. Orange, the number one network in a salon way camp and coverage. Orange. Welcome back to the show. Of course, as we mentioned, you know, over the week past, we see who say, you know, the European football giants and Gardner, the France city of Monaco, and who say the little. Modric, you know, normal like you call him, you know, I don't know if this film way after they how do I call the film? Malin, Malin, there's a little Modric, that's how I refer to all this to Modric, you know, when the Croatian captain, I mean, don't be named as the best player in Europe after the next player to Real Madrid, and of course, inside Croatia, at the World Cup, who side then go all the way, you know, to the finals, only to lose to the, to the Le Bleu of France, you know, in that particular finals. And of course, earlier on in the season, Usu side, you know, then, I mean, go past Liverpool side in the UEFA Champions League finals. And finally, after a contest, you know, against the likes of CR7, one of the GOATs, you know, the greatest of all time. Of course, you know, the upcoming GOAT, you know, Una Mo Salah, eventually go on for win that particular award day. And of course, the draw for the UEFA Champions League also be span out. We shall see very interesting groups then, but key among which Oran Football, sorry, Oran Football Special future in a Group B and Group H. Group B involving, of course, Inter Milan, Tottenham, Barcelona, you know, battling it out in that particular group. And of course, you get group page, you know, the last group involving Juventus, you know, uh, Manchester United, Valencia, you know, go battle out in that particular group. You know, serious, you know, you follow that particular draw. What is your take in relation to group B specifically involving Barcelona, Tottenham? I think it only very fair for say that group and the group of death. Because we get if, the. Yes. We get the Spanish champions, we get sports we don't we don't sure say they will compete at the highest level for years. We even see them beat uh, Madrid last season. And, and and of course we get um the Inter Milan. Inter Milan don't go out there this season and last season and never buy players because as we see you see I did for Yeah, they may not necessarily be the Inter Milan of yeah, old of, of old, course yeah. they are well, I mean, the Inter developers. There's so much pie so that may added to the yeah, team. And of course PSG got for proof say they are no pushovers. Yeah, they are no pushovers. So I think this group are the group, are the group of death. You get for really, really, really tough. So if you for putting money on, who that go go through? Barcelona? I think I'd go for Barcelona and then Spurs. Wow, no chance. No chance for, for Inter PSV Milan. and Inter Milan. No. So then go battle for what I go finish third and fourth respectively. Exactly. Of course, let's quickly move over to Group H, where for me now the most interesting group, you know, not necessarily because of the might of the teams that we did, but you consider the early season form of the almighty Manchester United. For sure, you will remain scared of the fact that whether then we will make and through from that particular group involving Valencia, one of the Spanish greats, and of course the old lady Juventus. This group it gets a lot of interest, honestly, ben, sure. because you, we know we know how the fans of United nowadays, the relations with the coach, then just then just lost again during the, the, the week past. The week past. Mm -hmm. Then of course we get Juventus way, then then the guy in the field. Uh, on the top world. of the world. Rejuvenated. <laughs> yes, because yes. Of, because, of, because of the new, the new <laughs> signing. signing and then of course, CR7 got for proof, say, it's still, 
he's still, he's still, he's still the still guy. Good he's a good to person. And I think the team for for a score against now, United. So I think they're very, they're very, very a very very tough match. Mourinho of course will have to keep in job, hoping that he's still at the helm. So so who do you think we go through? You know, Manchester, Juventus, Valencia will always play a role because for sure, I mean. Or probably Valencia will be the team to determine who finish top of the table between United and you know Juventus, or they may just edge out Manchester United at the end of the day. Based on form, and I make fans of United come and just rain down on me. So based <laughs> on form, I'd go with Juventus and then I'd go with Valencia. Okay, so if Manchester United form for change later on in the season, they would have a chance yeah, because Manchester chance. United will always remain Manchester yeah. United. You know, throughout this week, we run, I mean, some story them, you know, on our Facebook page, on our Football Special, on Facebook, one relating, you know, to Mo Calum and in energy sector, push for ensure that it bring investors that will go help this country as far as the energy sector is concerned, so that Sierra Leone will get access to excess energy for see that we will be go productive, you know, and see that we feed this country and put money now our pockets and of course then they generate a lot of interest from the followers of Oran Football Special on that particular page we also carry a story <laughs> we get for do with the selection of the 23 players you know after the initial pronouncement of 35 players by the national head by the national coach owner John Kista and it provoke a lot of reactions I'll go through the wire quickly for see exactly because like we always say your messages for this particular program will never end if we know you hear from you that is why we always say Go on our Facebook page or on Football Special and drop your comment there or text you. I mean, not my text or maybe WhatsApp on 076 1028. The first message from the particular page they say, The fruitful son of the soil. This one they come up from Mohammed Slim Kanu. And of course, the other one they say, This is from Joki Kamara. He say, I pray that it works by God's grace. And uh, Alpha Umar Tarali, they say, I know you can do it. You know, and of course, the next one they come more from Al Mamisia Kabo. They say, Thanks, the country's legend. And I'll sign Kalon. They say, God bless you, bro. Sia Kamara, they say, thank you, big bro. All relating to the Mohammed Kalon story. And of course, Mohammed Lukule, they say, really? My big bro, Lukule was kind of surprised, probably seeing an ex footballer, you know, a UEFA license, yeah. a holder who is only second to the UEFA pro holders, the likes of Wenger, the Manchester United, you know, uh, uh, Coach Josie so, Moreno, you know, for Kamna, the energy sector. So Lukule was a little bit surprised. And of course, on the Leon Star team, this one they say from Sir Philip Bocca, they say, Bravo to our national team coach. We pray that you continue to work with the team in good faith. One Leon Star, one national team, all the way. May uh, may God help us in all our matches and of course this is a comment from Ibrahim S. James they say I hope all these games bring good results John Jonathan Sir Philly they say when are we playing Kenya you don't really exactly from the national team he say on the 9th of September 2018 Isai Ethiopia and of course Fode Usman Nani Pogba Kamara, probably this time Manchester United fan, I'm sure by this name. <laughs> Victory all the way up for all matches, inshallah. And the last one for now, they say from come up from uh, Fure Ezekiel, they say Saloman. So these are interesting comments coming from that particular page. You also get an opportunity for be had on that particular on this particular program. If you visit that page and drop a comment on the story that will run on that particular page. So you have an opportunity to go there, like the page, and join. And of course, make a comment. You pass in short, serious as we close. Well, I have to wish uh Leon Stars good luck. And I hope John and the team will pull off a win because we need three points. If we can go out there and take three points away, then a massive for us. So. If we go there and take three points, it will go massive for us. But all luck to the national team and all those leads and attention, prayers to Edna Mox or the church, them, you know, for the national team for inshallah, go to Ethiopia, regardless of the humid condition as it is now in Ethiopia, we'll go there and pull the results. I mean, we'll go help the national team for qualify, you know, for the first time after two decades of waiting for the AFCOM qualification in Cameroon 2019. We can't wait to be in Yaoundé and the other cities all around Cameroon. I've been your host, engineer Mohamed Ben Simbao, signing out with the bank. Orange.